Finally, official stable Bliss ROM version 16.3 is rolled out. And this Bliss ROM is based on latest Android 13, which has Android security update of January 5, 2023. I have installed this ROM on Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, which is a MI tool device, and also this ROM is officially available on many phones. And today in this video, I'll show you its new features, bugs, customizations, Antutu benchmark score, Geekbench score, CPU throttling test, safety net status, and many more. So without further ado, let's start. This Bliss ROM comes with DFC plus kernel, and if you go back and look inside Bliss version section, you will find more details about this build. And if you look at the build date, which is of January 27, 2023 which is the latest build available for now. First of all, I'll show the change logs of this version. You can see all the change logs on the screen. It has change logs like merged January security patch, hidden app features, per app volume control, addition of pitch black theme, and many more. One little bug that I found in this room is that whenever I open its default camera app from home screen, then it says app isn't installed but it will open from its app drawer section without any error and you can also use google camera i have installed latest gcam 8.7 and it is working properly also i tried opening this gcam from home screen and it's opening without causing any error that means this default camera has some issues when opening from its home screen section now I'll show the results of Antutu benchmark test and as you can see the Antutu benchmark score of this Bliss ROM on Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is 358181 which is a pretty good score. After Antutu I'll show you its CPU throttling test and I had run this test for 5 minutes and no CPU thermal throttling was detected. After this CPU throttling test I'll show you its safety net status. And as you can see, it has passed its safety net compatibility. Also, inside Play Store, under Play Protect certification, device is certified, which indicates that there will be no problem while using banking apps on this room. Now, after this safety net status, I'll show you the Geekbench test result. And you can see the results on the screen. For single core, the score is 556, and for multi core, the score is 1700. And now talking about its launcher, it has this launcher 3 available and from its recent app section, you can perform some actions like kill app, split screen and freeform. And this freeform looks something like this. And inside its wallpaper and styles, you will find dark theme, theme icons, custom theme icons, app grid, system icon packs and system fonts option. And you will miss Android 13 latest features like wallpaper colors and basic colors in this wallpaper and styles section. And this is how notification panel or quick setting looks like, which have setting shortcut icon and power menu icon located at the bottom. And a dedicated auto brightness button along with brightness slider is present. It has some unique tiles like nearby share, USB tethering, extra dim, and scan QR code. And these two tiles, USB tethering and scan QR code are grayed out. But the thing is that this USB tethering tile is working perfectly, but this another scan QR code tile does not seem to function well. If you know how to make it work, you can help us from the comment section below. So now let's see what's new inside its setting section. Inside its network and internet, you will find private DNS option, which does not come with custom DNS, but we can access to private DNS by typing manually. And if you are a game lover, then a special game space feature is present inside app setting, which looks something like this. And uh, from here, you can control different things to make your gaming experience better. So now let's enter into its battery setting. Here you will find some features like battery usage, battery saver, battery manager, and battery charging light. You will miss extreme battery saver option inside this battery setting and you can see the battery uses on the screen. I haven't used this ROM for long to say much about its battery backup. 
and if you don't know i am regularly posting about battery backups of every room that i review on my community post so if you don't want to miss any of them make sure to turn on the notification to all now i'll jump to display setting where you'll find dark theme option and there is no any custom dark theme available but in its change log it has mentioned about pitch black theme i know that option is hidden somewhere which i'll show later in this video so stay tuned and at last on display setting i found this hidden apps option but still protected apps feature is missing in this room also inside security both fingerprint and face unlock option is present for security purpose and you can see its speed on the screen and in privacy you'll find all the similar privacy related settings that every room provides like this privacy dashboard permission manager camera and microphone access and many more and inside system please update our feature is present from where we can easily update to its latest version and on languages and input you will find app languages where many applications are now supported and from developer options you can find this hidden display cutout option from where you can choose between different display cutouts which looks something like this and in this bliss room you can do some customizations from its blissify setting and some features are so unique that no other rooms provides from here you can do customizations on animations like you can change power menu animation as well as qs styles and screen off animations which looks something like this there is new features added inside its button section which is so volume panel on left which will basically change the volume panel section from right to left and from gesture setting we can enable our favorite features which is swipe to take screenshots and this works properly but google lens search option is still missing in it and inside press and hold power button you can change between power menu or digital assistants and here advanced restart option is missing but it is available by default in this room if you want to disable advanced restart restart and power off option then you can do that to follow this video to know about it and from its lock screen you can enable this weather setting only few custom room provides this weather service feature and this bliss room is one of them also pulse option is present and this is filled with lots of customizations and if you try this feature you will definitely fall in love with this pulse feature and if you want to enable reticker option for notifications then you can enable from its notification setting but it requires system ui restart which means you will need to reboot your device once and from its power menu section you will find advanced reboot option you can disable it if you don't want it on your power menu section not only advanced reboot option now in this room you can disable restart as well as power menu options from power menu items and this looks something like this and this is a good feature in terms of privacy also you can choose between different power menu items and from its theme section you can enable this use black theme option which will force apps to use black background colors and from its miscellaneous you can choose between different usb configuration settings which used to be inside developer option also you can enable this ignore window secure flags option which will allow you to take screenshot and do screen record on restricted apps like netflix banking apps facebook locked profile and many more so this is all about the customizations that this room provides and if you are wondering about unlimited google's photo stories then don't worry you will get that feature in this bliss room and can enjoy uploading unlimited photos and videos on google photos app without any cost so this is all about this latest bliss room i hope you find this video useful so what do you think about this bliss room you can comment your thoughts suggestions and rating on this bliss room according to your experience on the comment section i'll appreciate your comments and ratings i'll rate this bliss room 7.5 out of 10 so Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and if you like this video give a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to crack so it and also hit the notification bell to all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.